Hello gamers, it's your boy Zero Inc. and I'm back with another Kickshot Angle discussion. Now today, I want to talk about Sony. And more specifically, I want to talk about how Sony's being blamed for everything right now. Everything. If a bear shat in the woods, Sony would be blamed for it. If someone sneezed off in Tibet, Sony would be blamed for it. If an earthquake happened, Sony would be blamed for it. If a natural catastrophe happened, Sony would be blamed for it. Now, let's start off with the credit card thing, okay? Because that's one of the, the big stories going around. Apparently, someone bought a game with this guy's credit card information. Sony sends him a message and says, well, your credit card was fraudulently used, and we're just letting you know that you did not purchase this game. Serial numbers don't match. So he calls up Sony customer service. Rather than his bank, rather than his provider, rather than anybody that can actually help him and wants a refund from Sony. <laughs> Wait, if he gives the information that Sony gave him to any of his bank providers, any of his, his credit card providers, any of his banks, any of his credit card providers, guess what? They refund his money with what Sony gave him. I don't understand. I don't understand why Sony would be at fault for that, for someone fraudulently using your credit card. I don't understand. And I don't think Sony should give the refund. You see this all the time in any business. Like a uh, perfect example, I was in food and beverage, right? And you saw this a lot. People coming in and they'd be like, I want a rare steak. You go get them a rare steak and then they go, no, no, I said medium rare. I want a new plate so that their friend who came in with them can have a free meal. You see this all the time. It's trying to create fraud against a company. If anything, this guy should be held accountable and needs to be told, go to your credit card provider. Go to your bank. They will refund your money. This is not Sony's issue. This is your card issue. This is your information issue. You need to change your information, change your passwords, because somehow someone got your information. This is information that could be gotten from anywhere. Any internet, Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, anywhere where you put your information, they could have gotten a hold of your information, okay? Secondly, the Sony hack, the Sony Pictures hack. First of all, keep in mind these are American companies. All of them. Sony Japan allows the American companies to do what they want to do. So Sony Pictures is basically acting independently from Sony Japan. SCE. PlayStation subsidiary. Their TVs, their image censoring. All different companies inside one big empire. Sony Pictures? It's just a name, people. Still American companies that are making these movies just under the Sony umbrella. So don't blame Sony. Blame the American companies for caving. Blame Sony Pictures for caving. And you know what? You can't even blame Sony Pictures for caving because they were going to show the movie until American theaters refused to show it. Wow. But Sony's to blame. Sony's to blame. Sony's to blame. That, that's all you hear. Sony is to blame. Sony is to blame. Apparently, Sony's to blame for what individuals within the company say to one another. <laughs> so Amy, Amy Pascal thinks Adam Sandler's an asshole. Well, guess what? Some business, somewhere, at some point in time, there was probably a CEO that thought the same about me. Even though I wouldn't consider myself much of an asshole, people have their impressions of, e of people. People have their opinions of people. This is not a Sony issue. This is an individual issue. These personal emails and stuff is not a Sony problem. Those racist comments is not a Sony problem. Those racist comments are that individual's problem. You're an asshole. You're a bitch. You're this. All these personal emails that are going around. These are these individuals saying this. This is not reflecting what Sony does as a business. This is not Sony. And if you know anything about Hollywood, you know that every single one of these actors and actresses talk about each other the same way. Only difference is Sony Pictures got hacked and now all that personal information is being handed to you. It's like you saying, if I made a sex tape with my wife or my girlfriend, someone breaks into my house and steals it, that's fair game. Everyone should be entitled to that sex tape. No, none of you are entitled to that sex tape, and it should be destroyed if it gets in the right hands. But do we think that way? No, no, blame Sony, blame Sony. You know what, guys? I'm not going to go too much more into this because I just think this whole situation is bullshit. So what? Someone thinks you're an asshole, Adam Sandler. 
Tons of people in the world think I'm an asshole. These are individual opinions, individual beliefs, not company beliefs, not company problems. That's why Japan's newspapers aren't covering it. Because America's the only place where we actually give a shit about those little things. I mean, are you saying that these actors and actresses are so vain that they don't know when they're being an asshole? Or they don't know when they're pushing the bar? Or they don't know when they're not doing something they're supposed to be doing? Come on. Come on, they're smarter than that. Obviously, they're smarter than that with the money they make. So what Amy Pascal said and the racist comments and everything else like that, these are those individuals. They do not reflect the beliefs of the company. That's about it. I, I don't really have much more to say. Just, I, I feel bad for Sony because Sony as a company tries to do its best for the people here in America, tries to do its best for people in Japan, tries to do its best for everybody. Granted, yes, there are some things they do that are shady, but in any business you have, that's going to happen including Microsoft, including Samsung, including Panasonic, including... This is not an isolated incident. It happens in Microsoft, too. It's just it wasn't publicized. There's a real quick way I can sum this up for you guys. You remember Men in Tights? I'm on the East Bank. I'm on the West Bank. I'm on one side. I'm on the other side. It is not that critical. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that U.S. companies should be held accountable for U.S. problems? Or do you think we should blame Sony Japan and Sony the Empire itself for everything that some individuals working for the company do? This has been Zero, and I will see all of you guys next time.